Hovercraft from 1601, just looking for a status update. Once the sun rose this morning, search crews suited up and began their search for 48-year-old James Larder II. The Eaton Rapids man was reported missing around 3 a.m. Due to the size of the lake, it took several hours before crews came upon Larder's helmet and gloves near broken ice. Unfortunately, the individual wasn't familiar with uh, the area he was in. He drove the snowmobile right into uh, thin ice at the mouth of the Indian River. Larder had left Breakers Bar and Grill in Tappanabee to make his way back to his vacation home on the other side of the lake. Right before he left, he checked in with his family and then began his snowmobile ride back to his home. He did have contact with his family members and uh, told them when he was coming, when he was going. And then when he did not uh, call the family members back, uh, uh, getting back to his place of residence, they called us. The ice on Mullet Lake is around 20 inches thick, but the area at the mouth of the river is only an inch. This is the second snowmobile accident this winter in Sheboygan County. And Sheriff Dale Claremont says accidents like this can be easily avoided. Snowmobilers should be very cautious anytime they're on the lake. Uh, they should be very familiar with where they're going and stay away from the open water, stay away from the mouths of the river. The sheriff tells 7 and 4 News that the investigation is ongoing to figure out the events leading up to his death. On Mullet Lake in Sheboygan, Nathan Edwards, 7 and 4 News.